What it is, guys, it's your Dino. We're back again with another review. So let's just get straight into it. This one is for a game called Endlander First Count Encounter. So Endlanders is a game that is on Kickstarter. It's got the campaigns live right now. This game is a bit interesting. It is a build your deck through kind of RPG kind of combat and it allows you to take down enemies, fight them. You have to translate a series of ciphers and mysteries of this universe in this grid based real time combat indie style game. It features two main characters with divergent storylines in the same universe, fighting and exploring their way through a vastly different planes of anachronistic themes. This game uses a, a grid based combat in real time where your two characters have two distinct gameplay styles. So the first one is the character that you see on the screen and you don't get access to the second one until you complete the game for the first time. So the game has a fast paced tension with multiple spells and a huge variety of enemies. It has a unique deck building system, as you can see on the screen right now. It is very interesting. The fact that it's kind of, it throws you in and says, there you go. No backstory, nothing. You don't have really anything to go on other than the fact that you've got to wander around, encounter some enemies, and you're going to be like, crap, what do I do? So you'll grind through, you'll fight some stuff, and you'll start to get through the story, and you'll, you'll die a bit, you'll, you'll get better, you'll die a bit, you'll get better. I... I didn't know what I was doing with this game. It's very odd, very, very disconcerting. It is very interesting. I wanted to show off very early gameplay from what I had and what I got to experience. This is like I was given this game a while ago and I played it a bit and it's a bit odd. So I just wanted to let, the, let that be put out there. It's very weird. It's a very odd style of, of game in the fact that it doesn't tell you anything. It allows you to just work it out and it's it's interesting i was floundering with this game for a while but then once i started to get to used to the mechanics it was kind of interesting the lack of a uh intro to the world or anything like that kind of leaves you like what am i supposed to be doing it's it's weird this is me just completely screwing up on the game when I first started playing, I thought I'd show you my fails and my trials and my tribulations that I was going through. But overall, after getting used to it and playing it for a bit more, I've actually found that it's quite an interesting game. And don't forget to smack the like button, guys. I greatly appreciate that. It's it's definitely interesting. It's on Kickstarter. It's doing well. Two player playable characters are Cosmos, and the other one is called Quals, spelled Q-U-L-S and they are two very different looking characters on on the art style you saw them on the starting screen that i showed off the cosmos is the one that is has the big blue eye thing with the the cape on and the, and the diamond shoulder pads and quals is the one that has the like face mask with the ruby eyes and they they do look quite interesting and and it does get you a bit intrigued it is on um it is on the um it is on the kickstarter stuff and it is doing quite well as far as i'm aware it's definitely interesting now the the requirements for this game aren't very high you could probably run this on a potato it's it requires a minimum of windows 7 2 gigs of d of of ram it requires a GTX 560, 700 megabytes of available space and a sound card. And the processor minimum requirements is a Intel i3-3240 or AM, same AMD equivalent. Their, their um, recommended specs is basically the same because that's all you really need. It also runs on Linux as well, on the same spec. You could do the same sort of stuff. This game is only available on Steam and on Linux at the moment. It is published by Grab the Games and Estero Studios. It is classed as an action indie RPG. And it's, it's out now, basically, on Kickstarter. It's very odd, I'm not gonna lie. 
it did make me think oh this is a weird one and I, I thought that that was a compelling thing when it came to the game it does have some quirky designs and I feel like it does offer something unique now the game there will be a link for it down below i will put a, a link to the the steam on it and i don't know where i'd find the kickstarter one but i could give you the steam one and it should link you through to their kickstarter but overall i feel like the game is one of those quirky indie games that is really hard to nail down as to what it is but as you go through and experience it and play it a bit more, you'll find that it does offer a unique and compelling story. And whilst you see me fail repeatedly on this, this playthrough, I just thought I'd show off that it is a weird game more than anything, because I think that that adds to its quirkiness. And I feel like that is something that might interest a lot of pc gamers because it's not your usual indie game that's out there at the moment and it does have a, a unique design and it makes me think of old school zelda metroidvania kind of like styles and it's very interesting so i feel like this could probably grab some zelda fans or some metroidvania fans because it's done in a, in a in in a unique hybridization of the two different styles, I feel, and I feel like it's got a lot to offer. So that's my opinion. That's what I think of it. That's where I stand on it. I feel like this game could appeal to different kinds of content creators, different kinds of gamers. You could do challenge runs and stuff like that. That's my opinion. That's my recommendations on the types of content creators and gamers that would like it. Metroidvania fans, Zelda fans. It, it's good. It has something interesting to offer. It's on Steam. It's on Linux. So it is available on PCs only at the moment. It could end up coming to consoles. You never know. It, if it does well enough, it might end up on, say, the Switch or the Xbox because the windows the ecosystem they try and port a lot of the games over as much as they can by working with the devs idea xbox are great for that and i feel like this game could end up on the idea xbox system and, and do very well that's my opinion as always guys i like to give you my opinion and where i can where i think it could go in a unbiased pers pers perspective over the whole thing and and where i think that it could go whether i think that the game is worth the purchase or not it depends on the type of gamer you are personally i wouldn't have rushed out and bought this game because i wouldn't be prepared to drop my hard-earned money on it because i wouldn't be sure if it would be for me but because i was lucky enough to receive a copy of the game i would definitely say upon playing it and experiencing it it is definitely one of those games that i could sit down with my controller and relax and just play it is a pretty cool game it has a unique story and a unique world that they've created but that's just my opinion if you do like the review guys hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button let me know what you think in the comments you can catch me live on the channel on tuesdays through to sundays i play a variety of games story games community games we do a bit of everything we have a good time and we always try and keep it chill Thanks for checking out the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.